Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bing, I'm a photo and video maker. And in today's video, let's take a look how you can turn your old dust collecting smartphone into a super portable camera monitor. Let's get started. So all you need is this little gadget and an OTG cable. So this basically is a very simple, very cheap video capture card. It costs only $10. It can convert video signal from HDMI port to USB port so that you can use your phone to read it out. It also allows you to record any source of HDMI directly to your PC with OBS. And there are many ways to use this $10 little thing. I'll show you later. For using your phone as a camera monitor, you need to download this app called Next Camera. Then connect the OTG cable, the video capture card, the HDMI cable. Turn on the camera. It's that simple. If the resolution and the frame rate are not very good, we can go to the setting and twist it a little bit. But the max performance will depend on your phone and the OTG cable quality. With this old Xiaomi Mi 5, I can get 1080p at 25 frames per second, working perfectly, which is great and I'm very happy with it. But I suggest you to turn on the focus peaking on your camera so that you can nail the focus even on this small size screen. It can convert any resolution and the frame rate to the max that your phone can handle. Even I'm shooting 2.7K at 120 frames per second or DCI 4K at 60 frames per second, it works fine. But I don't know if it works with 6K or 8K because I have only this 4K camera. So this setup works great. The resolution is fine, the color shifting is acceptable, and it's super portable and tiny compared to this one. It's great for vlogging on the camera has no flip over screen. If you're a one man band video maker, every gram counts, right? And the battery of the phone lasts longer than a regular camera monitor, which is even better. There are two other ways to use this little cheap video capture card. One, you can use it to record your studio talking shots directly to your PC so that you don't need to deal with the SD card. You can start editing right away and you can even record it on ProRes 422 format. The file size is bigger than the original one on the SD card, but the quality is not that good. Uh, maybe it's because it's too cheap. And two, if you're doing a lot of streaming, instead of using a webcam, you can use your better camera with this to get a better streaming quality. Those are just some ideas from me, but I believe you can figure out more creative ways to use it. As a video capture card, it is too simple. The max output is 1080p at 60 frames per second. There's no audio output and the lag is very noticeable. So if you want to stream your gaming image from a console, there's something better than this one. But for this project, it works perfectly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video has been useful. If you like it, please comment, thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.